bore you too long, but I'm just going to give you a quick, um, a quick word. It was in my soul. Um, I felt it. I, on during noonday prayer, I understood that this is what I need to do. So um, let's start it. Okay. So are you ready to ace your next test? Yes. 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 Okay. Just because you just because you failed your last test doesn't mean you're gonna fail your next test, right? Amen. So what do you do now? You get you're more determined than ever to ace it, right? That's right. So back when I was in college a couple months ago, <laughs> um, the first test, well, you know, the first the semester starts, the first test, you're like, whatever the teacher's telling you, you're like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm reading whatever he tells me to read. But then you get there, you see the test, and it's like nothing that you read is on the test. Right. Uh, you know? Yeah. So then you fail the test, right? So you're like, darn it, I failed the test. Now what do I do? You become determined, right? Amen. Yes. So I'm going to have Nivea read 2 Timothy 1 and 7. Amen. Amen. 2 Timothy 1 and 7. For God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. 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 So what a person with a sound mind, for me, is a person who is bold and determined, right? That's right. So does anyone know what deter well, bold means? Nadia? <laughs> um, it means being aggressive in what it is that you are passionate about. Yes. Um, so exactly what she said. Bold is being, it's not being fearless. It's being straightforward, not um, scared of actual or possible danger. Amen. Right? That's Amen. Right. Amen. So what does determined mean, Minister Peggy? Determined means that you, uh, at all costs, nothing will stop you. You want to uh, accomplish whatever it is you set to do at all costs. Amen. 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 Right, right? So you only let nothing or any, well, no one or anything get in your path, right? That's right. So when you fail your first test, what are you doing now? You're being more determined than ever to not let anyone or anything stop you from acing your next test, right? That's right. Amen. 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 Okay, so then I'm going to have Nivea read Joshua chapter 1, um, verses 1 through 9. Amen. Joshua 1, verses 1 through 9. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to thee, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses, from the wilderness to this Lebanon, even into the great river, the river of Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and into the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance of the land which I swore unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithsoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee? Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Amen. So right there in that whole chapter right there, God is telling you to fight. Be stronger, right? Amen. Be more determined, right? Amen. So when you fail your first test, oh, well, 
It's time to you, for you not to look at like yourself as a failure, but you look at it as a lesson learned. Yeah. And you're taking what you're learning from your failure and you're applying it to next time. All right. The next yeah. test I take. Yeah. The next test I have, I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to be bolder. I'm going to be more determined to pass this next test. Amen. So, understanding that it's time for you not to look back on the old things. Because God doesn't see the old things. If you come to him, you confess your sins, you say, God, I failed my last test. He's like, okay, it's all right. It's time for you to start over. There's yeah. other things that's coming your way. It's time to pass my test. All right. So that was just a little thing today. Um, so what you guys need to do now is to turn the page, leave the past in the past. Amen. And turn the page and look forward to your victories. Look forward to being determined and right. being bold. Amen. Look forward to winning your victories.